Hello everyone, it's Steve with Escort Owners Club. Uh, someone in the Discord channel found this old Flickr account, and it turns out to be Aptera Motors Flickr account, and it's quite a walk through memory lane. Um, as you guys know, um, Aptera first started back in 2005, and um, they had a first iteration, which was actually a gas-powered vehicle. And then they had kind of a gas elect. They had they changed over to an EV later on, and about 4,000 people gave $500 um, deposits to reserve the first Aptera. And I was one of those 4,000 people. And then they liquidated, they returned all the deposits. And unfortunately we did not get this vehicle. But just looking back at this vehicle, I mean, it still looks awesome today. I mean, the basic shape of it hasn't changed. Uh, this is back when they were entering the X prize. Um, and there's Aptera doing the X prize. It had, it had a little bit more of a boxy look at that time and the wheel pants were a little boxier. I believe that they had issue, I forget exactly what the issue they had during the X Prize was. I think it was a cooling issue actually. And they did not win the X Prize. But it was a it was a really cool innovative design back then and it still is now. You see the original iteration had these rear view mirrors. You'll see that some of the later ones do not have the rear view mirror has the exhaust ports here, just like now. You can see that the uh, trunk space was much less back then. You, it, it held a lot, but much less than it does now. And uh, you, you definitely, I don't think you could sleep in it back then. So more X Prize um, pictures. And you see like all the people that were backing them during the X Prize. Yeah, lots of fun, like, yeah, lots of fun stuff. You can see here, this is how they were charging it. It's a regular plug. The original Aptera had just had a regular plug. You just put in like an extension cord into it. And it did, you know, they didn't have the J1772 uh, plugs back then. Uh, this is just a bunch of pictures that kids drew, colored in for the Aptera. Uh, we'll peruse through those real fast. Okay, and here's a shot of the interior. I think there were several iterations of this interior. This inter interior actually doesn't look too bad. Again, here's a, just an extension cord going in. And you can see they built at least three or four of uh, Aptera back then. There's one here and one here. And you'll see another shot where they... Um, had a little more. They had a small solar panel back then, and that basically was enough to run the um, the AC and venting. Didn't really run any of the um, propulsion systems. But the shape overall is timeless because this is the shape that's the most aerodynamic, and we've you know the Morelli shape has been around for decades. And so I think the the basic shape of the car is not ever gonna get old. There's uh, Chris Anthony. I believe, I forget this gentleman's name, but he was the first marketing, uh, chief marketing officer. Steve Fambro talking at Google. So they, they were at Google. Yeah, here you can see there were at least three Aptera back then. Three prototype models. You can see all three of them here. They're slightly different in their um, geometry. You see how like this one's lower, this one's higher from the angle. This one's lower. And there it is. trying to see there was one of these models that um, did not have a rear view mirror Steve those are the, I guess these are this is where those uh, coloring pictures were from at this event But yeah, I have fond memories of this period of Aptera's history. I really wanted this car back then, and they just didn't make it.
All right, this is Paul Wilbur, who took over as CEO and who, unfortunately, many of us blame for the death of the first uh, iteration of Aptera. He decided to go after the, the ATVM loan, which was only for four-wheelers at the time. And they spent a lot of money trying to lobby to get um, three-wheelers included um, as a possibility for the ATVM loan. And then they spent a bunch of money trying to develop a four-wheeled variant so they could go after the loan to get into production. And they just ran out of money. And they had to they had to liquidate, which was very unfortunate. You know, if I if I had bought this car twenty years ago, I would still be happy with it. I think it would still be efficient. It's still aerodynamic, and maybe there would have been a chance to upgrade the powertrain and batteries um, to make it a little bit more modern range. But the specs back then weren't too bad either. It would still be in good as a as a neighborhood vehicle. Okay, this is I think this is when they were in the they were displayed in the San Diego Automotive Museum for a while. Yeah, I yeah I believe that's what these are from. Yep, there you go. Then I think we come up to a bunch of pictures of people posing with Aptera. We'll skip those. I think there's more Sandy. There's Paul Wilbur again, Steve Fambro. Oh yeah, you can see Jason Hill right here. So Jason Hill was there with the Jason and Steve again. Paul Wilbur, Chris Anthony. Oh yeah, this is when they had, at their events they used to have um, a little sledgehammer and they had the bare composite body and they would have people smash on it just to see how strong it is this was their original honeycomb construction which since they've moved through i'm actually i'm curious if the new carbon fiber body would um withstand this i'm not sure yeah there's um their theory. Obviously, they wanted you to hit one of the strong areas in the convex shape of the vehicle. There's a little some kids going after it. Okay, so those are the people posing in front. And then here's Aptera in front of the Capitol building. And I don't know what building this is, but it's obviously somewhere in D.C. This is um, one of the interiors, and I, I like this interior. I think this interior would still have aged well, I think. There's another iteration of the interior which doesn't look quite as good, I think. Uh, this was obviously at some outdoor car event. Okay, so yeah, I guess they never made this iteration, but, oh no, no, this is not it. This still, still has the rear view mirrors. Okay, these are just some renderings, I think. I don't think this is the actual vehicle. I think that's a render. These are some pictures of Aptera's um, offices back then. I think this was probably like one of Steve Fambro's original wooden prototypes. Yeah, here's one that does not have a rear view mirror right here. More Aptera office pictures, munchies there. Leprechaun, coffee area. This is their jigs that they were making their um, their bodies out of, I think. And here is an er early prototype. Yeah. Office, meeting room. Uh, this is where the, the nursery, the kids play center. Um, this is the engineering area. Yeah, so here is the iteration. Here, I see. I I think they built this thing. They actually built this, and you see here, there's no rear view mirror, and there's instead there's rear view cameras here, here, and here. So I'm not sure if this is a render or they if they actually built this thing. 
I gotta think that. Did they have renderings that were this good back then? But yeah, this is very similar to the design that we have now with three rear view cameras. They were at another event. Here's Jason Hill again. And you can see Steve Fambro in the background here. Yeah, it, it garnered a lot of interest back then. I just remember there were a lot of stories in Popular Science and a bunch of other places. And here's some, oh yeah, this is the interior that I think would not have aged well. I think this is a render. And this interior, I think, looks very 90s or 80s even. It just, it doesn't age well. It doesn't look good. Um, and here's some pictures with a model. This is back, I think, when like the heroin chic uh, the Kate Moss waif-like era was going on. I look at them putting, trying to put a surfboard back there. Yeah, you can see the trunk space is significantly less. Yeah. Yeah, so they definitely built this. This is not a render. They definitely had an iteration with no rear view mirror and just the rear view cameras. And I don't know if that was first or later. I believe this is the later model. Okay. Well, that was a quick walk mem down memory lane uh, with some old Aptera pictures. I will put a link to their Flickr account. Um, it's still active. You can still look through the pictures. And um, I, think, I, th I thought it was interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.